Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of American Truck Simulator. Today we are taking a load of collars, which I don't think that's not it there. That looks like fuel to me. No other lorries that way. Where am I going? Okay, so it's actually back behind me. So I'm going to have to reverse up. But we are taking a lorry load of collars to Carson City. So I'm guessing that we're going to be heading to some sort of building site to drop these off. Which is quite exciting because I've only actually collected a load from a building site. So I haven't dropped one off yet. They're normally quite tricky to get in and out of. So we're looking forward to that one. But let's just straighten up and try and get onto this load a bit better. Where is that area? Oh, coming in a bit too fast. It's been quite a while since I last played American Truck Simulator. I have been playing a few other simulators lately, so bear with me when it comes to uh, the steering. I have to remember there's police in this game. But it's been quite a while since I've played it, so it's going to take me a couple of minutes to get used to it again. But yep, this load is going to Carson City, so we're looking, what are we looking at here? We're looking at that seven hour, no, a ten hour, ten hour, twenty minute run, and we do need, we are going to need to collect fuel on the way, and we are going to need to stop to have a sleep. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to get as far as possible, because at the moment it's only what, twenty past eleven in the morning, so I want to make the most of the daylight and sleep for most of the night. I don't mind waking up early if it's dark, as long as I'm going to be able to drop my load off in the light. And it looks like we could get rain too. So this is our second time, I think, into Nevada. We've only been into Vegas once before. So far we've covered 50% of the map. We've done most of California. Uh, Nevada we have only done two cities this would be our third city we're traveling to um, we have to travel through the two that we've already done so we're not going to gain anything there so it's only going to be the end of this journey that helps us complete the map now I don't know if you've seen uh, any of my previous videos but as I explained I've changed the traffic so we've got more traffic on the roads which is a bit of a problem when you get to junctions like this but even more so when we're in town I didn't actually see that green car coming then that was lucky he didn't plow into the side of me really I need to get across but are they going to let me? can I get across? there's a lorry coming down quite quick that was a bus I don't think I've seen any of those buses before, is that new? Everybody's racing past me. I'm struggling to get up to speed here, so oh, even a police car has undertaken me. So I'm going to need to get across soon. And no one's going to let me across. I'm just going to have to force my way in. You know what happened? I'll go over to the right hand lane and then everybody will be sent into the left. That's it. So it makes a hell of a difference coming back to this game. The graphics are so much better than the other simulators I've been playing lately. I won't tell you what they are, but uh, you can check out my, my channel when you see what I've been playing. But the graphics in this are so much better, and the gameplay is a lot better too. And the Winnebago's are racing past me today. What was that? Oh, sorry, it was a loan. Every time I hear that noise, I panic that I've got done speeding. So, right, straight under this one. 
So Vegas does uh, freak me out a little bit coming into here because there's so many lanes and I do get a little bit confused as to which lane I need to be in to go in which direction. I mean they've got two slip roads coming down off of there. What's that all about? All mer oh, here we go. Is he coming out? No, he just was going to sit there. I would have let him out if he'd come forward a bit more. Now this journey shouldn't take too long. It's going to be a nice quick video today. Probably looking at about 15 minutes. I thought we might be taking on a long journey, but there's only one trailer to take in, in that depot. Any long journeys, I'm probably going to end up splitting them up now into two videos. Because I think 30 minutes is a little bit too long. I mean, when you, when you start making 30 minute videos, people start flicking through fast forward and... I've got to come off here. Which slip do I go? I go right. Keep right. See, where does that one go? Does that one just go under the bridge and straight back onto the the highway again? So this is the situation when you've you've uh, changed the traffic and you've you've put more traffic on the road. But this is the situation you get into. We struggle to get out. I mean, he's letting me go, but I'm gonna have, definitely going to have to force my way across this side. So the ice cream man's going to let me go, but... Yeah, see, the Winnebago wasn't going to let me go. And this is a problem I'm going to have, because I'm not going to be able to see what's coming. I'm just going to have to chance it. Ooh, that was lucky. I don't want to get hit by that. Now am I going to make it round with my load? Oh, just. Oh, the sun's starting to come out now, so hopefully we won't get any rain. Although I do like this game in the rain. I like the way it the, uh, the, the light reflects off the roads. And I prefer driving through the towns at night as well, or the cities at night, when they're all lit up. I haven't come through Vegas yet at night, so I don't know what that's like. Now I can turn right here, can't I, on red. So let's sneak forward. And the lights have gone green anyway. That's alright then. Skateboard is there. I am preferring American Truck Simulator to a European Truck Simulator. I feel there's a lot more going on in the game. You know, you have the uh, helicopters and your planes and your hot air balloons. And uh, I found that a European truck simulator, doesn't matter whether you're in England or you're in France, it all feels a bit samey. Whereas here, depending on whereabouts you are, you know, what city you're heading to, it always has a different feel about it. And there's always something different going on. Out like there, I mean, we had the skateboarders there. And I mean, the skateboarders in LA too. But when you get out to the more... The sort of rural areas, you have the uh, the planes flying over, the crop dusting. So how kind is the traffic going to be to me coming down here? Because so far it's been quite busy. He got out. Let's hope, hopefully we... No, we're not going to get out, are we? Uh, 
I uh, don't think there's a gap coming up anytime soon. Oh, there's one coming up. Alright, let's go. Let's go, go, go. So I think I'm going to have to find somewhere soon to pull over. I mean... We should be able to go for... What are we looking at? Seven. Seven hours. We're definitely not going to make that, are we? So a couple more hours. I think we're definitely going to have to pull over and find somewhere to stop. I have done this route once before. I haven't gone all the way to Carson City, but we have stop just short of it and there are two or three rest stops in a row so I think we'll wait till we get there first It does feel a little bit sluggish pulling this load. Uh, what we take? It's 20 tons of collars we're pulling. So we're going to fill that when we go up the hills. Nearer to the end of the route. I don't know why I turned them on for. starting to cloud over a little bit more now I think there could be rain on the way I think we need some animals in this game animals that run out into the road definitely we could do a few more accidents on the road you know, I want there to be uh, delays. So roads like this, you know, there'd be like, I don't know, a lorry, you know, been hit by a car. And traffic builds up and, you know, you have to sit and wait. A bit more realistic then, isn't it? I mean, how many journeys do you know that you make? Especially in England, if you're going around the M25, it's not free-flowing like this. You're constantly stopping. You'd be lucky if you get higher than 20 miles an hour. So what if I do is I'm going to stop here and get some fuel and I think I'm going to, there is somewhere to uh, stop and sleep too. So I'll do that while I'm here. I mean that's going to take us what we ate now. So we're going to be looking at about 2 o'clock in the morning by the time we wake up. So by the time we get to our destination it will be light. Where do I go? Can I go in this way? Oh, didn't see him. I'm guessing we come in here. So what are these things that hang down then? Oh, they're like air conditioning units. I suppose you put you put that collar thing there, sleeve through your window to give you fresh air because it gets so hot. That's like it. Well, we'll see you in the morning anyway. We'll have a quick nap. Good morning, everybody. It's a little bit earlier than I would have thought. So we've got, what, two, three hours before the sun comes back up again? We should just be arriving at our destination by the time the sun comes up. Which is great because I'm going to need all the light I can to park. So 
So even the garages look really nice, all lit up at night time. Very nice. I don't think there's anything coming, is there anything? Well, this road should be quite clear since it's so early in the morning. No. <laughs> I have to sit and wait. That police car's coming as well now. So I have to watch my speed. Oh, let me out. Like, I mean, these cars can easily pull over. Now the policeman's right behind me. Alright, let's go. We can make it out of here. Hmm, the policeman must be struggling to get out too. He hasn't come past me yet. Now, if I remember correctly, I've done this bit once before and it gets really hilly. So I think we're going to struggle pulling this weight up some of these hills. There should be a rest stop coming up here on the right hand side. Yeah, there is. That's the rest stop with the uh, the man made of traffic cones. I think they're traffic cones. So I know where I am now. We're not too far away from our destination. About a quarter of the way left to go. Yeah, I thought so. These vehicles are just going to start pulling away from me now. There's no way I'm going to be able to keep up with them going up these hills. See, they're gone. And a slightly more powerful engine. That would be very nice. See, this is where you want animals running out in the road. When it's night time like this, you know, a few, I don't know, what they have in America. A few cat, a bit, some cattle running out in the road or a horse or something. A few deer. Now I'm still not 100% sure if the uh, if there are actual <laughs> spaceships in this game or not. People keep saying there's UFOs, but I'm not 100% sure there are. I haven't seen any. Some people are saying it's not true, and some people are saying it is. So let me know in the comments if you've seen one or not, because I haven't. I've seen plenty of jets flying around, but I haven't yet seen any uh, UFOs. Maybe people just being mistaken, you know, jets for UFOs. I still haven't come across the the garage with the uh, the three ducks on the other side of the wall that keep bobbing up and down. I haven't come across them yet either. And this junction here looks quite busy. I think we're going to struggle to get out of this one. You're definitely going to be... He's not going to pull out, is he? He's going to wait for a nice big gap before he goes. And then he's still got to wait for the cars coming from the right to come across first. I mean, look at it. You need some sort of traffic light system here. Oh, it's clearing up. I 
That is it. Go, creep forward. Come on, creep forward as you're never going to get out. Go, 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 go. Anything come from the right? What the hell was that? Well, where's all that traffic just come from? There was nothing coming from the left when I pulled out. And now this vehicle just ploughs straight into the side of me. Where'd they all come from? So, there was no point hitting me, because now you've all got to sit and wait. Now, oh, it's all gone to pieces now. Oh, now I've picked up major damage. Not impressed at all. I think it's from the first axe. I was shaken up from the first incident. And I wasn't concentrating. And I've got ploughed into again by a lorry. I could have been killed. So I've picked up a fine. What's that, $1,800? And I have... Well... This lorry's knackered now, isn't it? I mean, I've never actually got to the point where I've had this on the dash. So it must be bad. And it looks like my wheels, maybe axles, are... Well, they're red. But it's too early for me to find the services, so I'm going to have to keep going. Drop this load off and then try and find somewhere to get repaired. So that's what I'll do. I'll soldier on. Hopefully I'll get there. And what are we looking at? We're looking at another three hours. Yeah, I'm going to have to. There probably won't be anywhere to stop between here and there anyway. Because we're going out into the wilderness now. What do you have on the side of his lorry? I'm not impressed with that car at all. There was nothing coming from the left and it... Well, I can't believe it. Well, that's it. When I've got enough money, I'm definitely going to give this lorry to someone else. Take on a new new employee, and they can have this lorry. I can get myself a nice big shiny one. Well, the rain's held off. I mean, you can't fault the scenery in this game, can you? There's definitely a lot to look at. Is that a lake on the right-hand side? This is not the sort of place we want to be breaking down. I don't know what the temperature is outside. All I can see is red. Red on my dash. This is the first time I've actually been out here. I've never been this far north before, in Nevada. I haven't seen anything that stands out yet. I'm too busy worrying whether or not I'm actually going to make it. at some point it's going to start flashing at me isn't it to say it's critical and I need to stop so we've got an hour to go we should make it have faith
Oh, that sun is beating down on us now. You can see it in the mirrors. That's going to be hot out. Definitely don't want to be breaking down here. Oh, here we go. Engine malfunction. Now it's getting desperate. How many times does that flash up before we actually break down? Well, I can see our destination. Now, are we near any civilization? Will there be somewhere for me to get the lorry fixed? There's a few more roads appearing. Well, I think there is. I think there's a, yeah, there's a garage or a services, whatever, service station, so I can get it fixed right next door. Lovely. Let's just try not to get a speeding ticket going through here. Mm, it's going to take us a while to get across, isn't it? So we need our own separate lights here. So we can only go one at a time when we're turning left. There's not even anything coming from either direction, is there? Well, nothing came across then. Oh, some Dunkin' Donuts. Very nice. Now, if he goes, will I be able to go for it too? Go, go, go. I won't risk it. I've already got enough damage. Should be a limp home though. Come on. Come on, people. I haven't got time to spare. See, nothing came across again then. Is he letting me go? Thank you very much. So we're just going to limp home. I don't know how many times it flashes up to say that you need to go to the uh, the garage before you break down. I'm hoping this is going to be a nice parking space. Where are we going? I can't... What's the site entrance then? So yeah, it looks like it's a building site. But where's and oh, that's the entrance there. I've gone past it. Is there anything behind me? It's Dunkin' Donuts lorry again, he gets about quickly, doesn't he? So I can't go backwards, so I'm gonna have to hopefully try and turn around somewhere. I don't think I can I won't be able to do it. Here. I have to carry on. It wasn't me, officer. I wasn't trying to turn around. Well, I might be able to do it here. Just let the traffic go by. I should be able to swing it straight round here. I might struggle to get it into sight because that looked like a very narrow entrance. I don't think the security guard's going to stop the traffic for me. He didn't look interested at all. Let's just see if we can get it round here. Mm. Yep. And this is going to be a hard one. I might struggle here. Oh, squeeze. Will the trailer make it round? 
It looks like it has. Oh, it's going to catch the cabin. Will it? I don't think we caught it. And where do we need to go here? So it's automatically picked the hardest parking space. I turned all the options off. Where you come in and choose where you want to park. I just selected the hardest. But there's not a lot of room to turn around. Oh, it's on my left hand side here. I'll just swing it around here and hopefully I can pull straight up in the parking space. Straight right. No, I'm going to have to pull forward and reverse back into this one. Nice and steady. I think I have to pull forward a little bit as well. I mean, it did say I was in, but it's not very tidy. I do. So what do we make for that one? Yeah, I thought we would. So I suppose the next job is to get the lorry repaired. So I think I'll save that for the next video. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, remember to subscribe. And I'll see you next time.